Virginia rolling toward decriminalizing marijuana. Well, two lawmakers, one Republican, one Democrat, are proposing doing away with jail time on first offenses for simple possession. Mike Gooden's been following this, and he has the latest. Hey, Mike. Well, Philip and Regina, this would, of course, be a very big deal. 30 other states in D.C. have already legalized marijuana in some fashion. This would not be that. But across the country, 60,000 people are behind bars for marijuana offenses at a cost to taxpayers of $1.2 billion per year. And this could go a long way towards reducing that burden. We're certainly going to make a uh, avid run towards that direction. First offenders charged with possession of marijuana would no longer face jail time and would have a chance to clear their records under a bill to be proposed by Republican Senator Tommy Normand. A first offense for simple possession of marijuana right now is a misdemeanor punished by a fine of up to $500 and jail time of up to 30 days. Democratic Senator Adam Eben of Alexandria also has a bill. It would decriminalize marijuana by making simple possession a civil penalty rather than a criminal misdemeanor. But the Virginia efforts come just one week after U.S. Attorney General Jeff Sessions' guidance to U.S. attorneys, encouraging them to enforce federal pot laws even where states have legalized the drug. I think that's a little complicated based on what the Trump administration and Attorney General Sessions has suggested, but we're moving towards decriminalizing it, but it will still retain under my proposal the original punishment provisions that are under the criminal statute. So we'll have to see. I'm going to give it a run. ODU Assistant Professor of Political Science Ben Molusky says with the General Assembly now at near even parity, it makes sense that such an issue might now actually get a fair hearing. They're reading the writing on the walls and with the narrow margins that are in both chambers. I mean, you know, 2119, I mean, these are very narrow margins that I think some of these issues will have to be considered. They can't just be brought up in committee and tabled. The Virginia ACLU is critical of Norman's effort, saying that what he's trying to do isn't decriminalization. The organization says that it prefers Eben's bill. Reporting live, Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.